Hello everybody, this is Ali Reza. Welcome to another tutorial of my YouTube channel, Kian.Smart Home. ESP Home is a tool that allows you to easily create custom firmware for ESP8266 and ESP32 boards. And you can use it integrated with Home Assistant without programming experiences. On today's video, we'll go through installing ESP Home on ESP32 boards using the simplest method, which is using ESP Web Tool. The board I have is Node MCU32S, known as ESP32 Dev Kit C. It features Bluetooth in addition to Wi Fi compared to ESP8266. Having Bluetooth makes it necessary that the computer we use supports Bluetooth to be enabled to use ESP web tool. So before going further, make sure your computer has Bluetooth and it is on by going to a start in Windows. Selecting settings, devices. If you see Bluetooth and an icon below it, or let's say a button below it, your device has Bluetooth. I turn it on. The next requirement may be a driver. When you connect ESP32 to your computer using USB cable, if it does not recognize the board, so you have to install the driver. I connect my board to my computer. Then I open control panel, select device manager. You see that the CP2102 USB is not recognized correctly. So I have to install the driver. You can install the driver by navigating to the link which is in description. This is the website of the driver. I click on downloads. Then select the software that suits my PC. Then I go to the place or folder drive where the file is downloaded. It is zipped. I extract it, open it, and install it. Installing the driver is very easy. After installing the driver, I again go to device manager. If I open ports section, Silicon Labs CP210X is displayed here and it is connected to port 3, COM3. Prerequisites are met. Navigate to ESP Web Tool page. You can find its link in description. Connect the board to your computer using USB cable while you have pressed and hold the flash button. Then release the flash button. On ESP Web Tools page, I click on install. In the popped up window, as you see, esphome.github.io wants to connect to a serial port. The device or the board is displayed. I select it and click on connect. ESP Home is being installed on development board. All done. Click here to finish setting up your device. This is where Bluetooth must be enabled. If the Bluetooth is not on on your PC, this page does not pop on. I select ESP Web Tools, then click on Pay. Enter the Wi Fi credentials of your network that you want ESP Web Tools. Connect to. After entering Wi Fi credentials, I click Save. Next. Okay, it is finished. 
now I open IP scanner by clicking on the start I scan my network to find the IP address of my ESP32 board this is the IP of my development board in my browser I enter it ESP web tools has done its job Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done already. In the next video, we'll go through connecting ESP32 to Home Assistant and start using it. If you find this video informative, I will be thankful if you support me by buying me a coffee. I will see you in the next video.